The big story of the last week or so on YouTube has been YouTube vertical live streaming. What's it all about? And people's hard pressed questions. Now I've got a bunch of questions collated from my channel, from uh, the Creator Insider channel and from other parts of the internet. So let us see if we can answer a few of those comments and maybe your questions will get answered right here. Now, if we don't answer your question, make sure at the end you comment it in the comments of this video and I'll endeavor to jump in and answer them there and or add them to the next video if we have one. Somehow you'll get an answer. So what is YouTube Vertical Live? Well, if a creator sends out a stream in a vertical format, that in other words, is that way, not that way, not only can it show up in the usual live streaming places on the creator's channel, in browse and suggested, it can also be discovered on mobile in what YouTube is calling the vertical live feed. So what is the vertical live feed? If a viewer is scrolling through shorts and may get served a live stream along the way, vertical, mind you, if they click into that live stream, they'll be transported into what is called the vertical live feed. The other way you can get to the vertical live feed is if you just pause a short, and at the top of the short, there'll be a little live button. And if you click the live, that'll also take you into the live feed. So you don't have to wait for a live stream to show up in the shorts feed. That's the basic gist. It's a new area of discoverability. So now it's time to jump in to your questions. Question number one, any Tingo's podcast says, so when can we start using it? Now. As of the announcement last week, it is live. The vertical live feed is uh, discoverable by all YouTube viewers on mobile. So make sure that you strategize how you can use vertical live streams to take advantage of that. At Rapid Repair says, when YouTube announced this, I think they made it sound like it, it had to be vertical from your phone. However, I believe you can use desktop with streaming software too. That's correct. You can get into the vert vertical feed simply by live streaming in portrait or vertical orientation. So it can be done on your phone, desktop, or a third party software app or encoder. Is that the only way to watch vertical live streams? I think they can do better because it's not easy to see the live icon depending on the short you're watching. Well, vertical lives show up anywhere that regular lives do in addition to the vertical live feed. If you're a supporter of the channel, you can just go to the watch page or the uh, subscription feed and find a currently live live stream that's in vertical format. So you can discover it in more than one way. Uh, if you have a YouTube Shorts channel and go live vertically on that channel, does or will YouTube have the same feature set and will they push those lives the same as horizontal? Short answer is yes. Vertical live streams have the exact same characteristics as regular live streams. They will appear in your live tab, send out notifications to your subscribers and can be scheduled in advance. Now, is there a time limit on the vertical streams through YouTube similar to Instagram since YouTube have a 60 second limit for their shorts? The same limitations that are on regular horizontal live streams applies to vertical streams after 12 hours, Whilst you can continue to stream, YouTube was probably not gonna archive the stream. The only relationship they have with shorts is the orientation. So any, any length issues or anything else is moot. I'm curious if you can swap the mode while live. Currently, no, you cannot change the orientation midstream. Once you start, you're locked into whatever orientation you choose, horizontal or vertical. If you're streaming directly from YouTube, they only allow you to stream vertical anymore. Streaming from your phone in the YouTube app still gives you the option to pick the orientation beforehand. Desktop defaults to horizontal though. Mobile will default to vertical unless you change it. I wonder if the streams can be saved and played later with or without the live chat. Still, and if the viewer has a choice to see that the chat is playback. The short answer is yes, a vertical live stream on replay has the same characteristics and settings as a regular live stream. The creator can choose whether or not to display the live chat replay and whether the replay is public or not. Although you probably wanna keep it public for the watch time. That question's coming up. I will say 
it told me to swipe up for the next stream. So basically, it'll let you move on to another stream. Yes, once a viewer is in the vertical live feed, they can choose to swipe up and move on to the next stream at any time. But they can just linger and watch a stream if they're into that stream. So be careful that you don't swipe up if you actually want to pay attention. This is a good idea, but as a channel that mainly does long form, I'm sure the watch hours won't count like shorts don't. Well, in actual fact, the answer is, according to Renee, uh, the YouTube creator liaison, it does count. Check this out. Hey there, some of my viewers on YouTube are complaining that the vertical live stream is a bad experience if they want to watch on TV or PC. Right now, I would be able to start two live streams separately to the same channel, one vertical, one horizontal. I don't want to separate my audience to two streams though. Will there be a way in the future to have viewers change layout without having to click off the stream? First of all, you can dual stream. So that's go horizontal, vertical, or do two streams at the same time on the same channel at the same time. YouTube doesn't have a problem with that. So you can push out a vertical and a horizontal concurrently. They won't be linked together in any sort of way. So I'd recommend clearly labeling each one so that people go to the correct one for their viewing habit, whether they're watching on the phone or they're watching on TV or desktop. Is YouTube gonna push the live stream shorts live on your homepage suggestions? I have not seen any vertical lives pop up either on my channel's home pages. Well, probably not in any way that is different to now. Discoverability will be primarily by the uh, that vertical live feed and that occasional one that appears in shorts. But you will see any vertical live streams in the subscriber feed if someone you subscribe to schedule it, schedules a live and then goes vertical. If they have a thumbnail on it, you'll see the thumbnail in the sub feed and possibly in the home feed. So you won't necessarily know it's a vertical live stream to click in unless they label it as such. With the new vertical live, do you think you can go, go live vertical and horizontal at the same time using StreamYard? Not yet. When StreamYard launched their vertical canvas last month in January, that feature was requested by us on launch. In other words, we requested the ability to do horizontal vertical together in the same studio. So it may be implemented at some point down the road. So wait, if I go live with OBS in vertical, it'll show up in the shorts feed? If so, how do we know it's working? Yes, the simplest way to know is to open your stream on your phone and if it behaves like a vertical live, that like we've demonstrated in this video and other videos on YouTube, then it's also showing in the vertical live feed. It has a, its own special look and feel, if you know what I mean. Great info, Doug. If I schedule it from StreamYard, when would I select a vertical option? Yes, uh, in StreamYard, you can select the vertical option in the general settings on your way into the studio. So you can do all your scheduling as normal. While you schedule a video, YouTube doesn't care if it's vertical or horizontal. It's before you go live, and you set, start sending a, a, a signal, it's either gonna be vertical or horizontal. So if you set your StreamYard to vertical on the way in, you're good to go. Hey, is it possible to, and how would I go live on YouTube horizontally and vertically together at the same time? Is there a separate stream key that can be used to put it in for the vertical live stream? For example, put the stream key into OBS Studio, and where would you obtain the vertical live stream key from? Okay, so this is a bit of an involved question. Let's see if we can hit up um, some of the basics at least without going too much detail because that's probably a whole other video. So yes, you can do this in a number of ways, just off the top of my head. First of all, you could go with two instances of something like StreamYard, one in each orientation but you may find that you need to route audio from a different microphone to the second stream in some cases. It won't allow you to share that, depending if, if you're on a Mac or Windows even possibly, but um, it's a browser thing, so um, be ready to have to use two microphones uh, to get that working. Number two, you can go horizontal via your usual encoder or webcam method. So the traditional way, using StreamYard, using OBS, using a webcam option on desktop, however you wanna do it. And then separately grab your phone, 
and do the vertical on your phone. So you're basically streaming from two devices at the same time. That's the second way to do it. The third way to do it is using Coda software that can do both at the same time. Now, one option that I'm aware of and I have tested is OBS Studio with the ATEM Vertical plugin. The ATEM Vertical plugin adds a vertical canvas alongside your horizontal canvas, and then you can program it, uh, a bunch of new scenes for the vertical and horizontal link them together, and then you can basically switch both concurrently and stream to two different destinations at the same time. Involved in that is the, you're gonna be needing to go to YouTube and get a stream key from each stream that's set up uh, by going into the live stream dashboard and getting the unique stream key for each one. Although the horizontal one may be able to connect automatically through the API because the OBS is updated and they can do that now. The vertical one, you will need to go get a stream key for that one. I'm gonna give this a try. Also, is vertical live on Android and iPhone now? Yes, if you're on the YouTube app it's and it's up to date, you can go live and choose vertical orientation on the way in. And basically, if you're streaming from your phone, it's vertical by default. You have to actually switch it to, go into the settings and switch it to horizontal if you wanna do a horizontal stream. So just be aware of that change in the YouTube uh, live streaming uh, section of the app. But of course, if you're on a phone, and you're watching a live stream, you can watch vertical live streams uh, by either picking it up from the from their channel, from your subscription feed, or by uh, swiping through shorts, finding a video, or pausing, hitting live, and away you go. So you can discover it both right now on iOS and Android if your app's up to date, if your phone's up to date, with all the, all the bells and whistles that you need, iOS 14.0, Android 8.0, all that to make sure that you are getting the latest YouTube app as possible. But if your question about vertical live, the vertical live feed and vertical live streaming wasn't mentioned in this video, then make sure you comment it right now in the comments. I'm gonna be looking for those questions so I can either answer them straight away because I know the answer or finding out the answer for you and letting you know what the answer is regardless. Ask away. If you didn't know already, on this channel we talk all about all things YouTube, particularly YouTube updates, announcements, uh, new app features, new desktop features. So make sure you lock it in, hit subscribe. And if you wanna find out about one of the recent YouTube updates that happened in the last month or two, then check this video out here. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. A big shout out and thank you to my channel members. You know who you are and I've listed you on screen.